Yo, 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 what is going on, guys? It is your boy Trent back with a video today. We're going to talk some college baseball. How about Ole Miss or Roberts this weekend? Three game series Friday, Saturday, and Sunday down in Oxford this weekend. So, uh, Ole Miss, number two in the country, 11 and 1 on the season, or Roberts, not in the top 25, but they are 9 and 3 on the season. So, 9 and 3 is still not too bad either. So, but uh, here's the players you guys need to watch out for for both teams, the pitching rotation, who's doing what position this weekend, all the good information in this video. So since Or Roberts is the away team, let's talk about them first. Now, Or Roberts, once again, 9-3 on the season. And let's talk about their pitching rotation first. Now, this is the, what is it, like the third, fourth weekend now in uh, college baseball. And Or Roberts has still not quite figured out their pitching rotation yet. They've tried a couple of different guys out um, so far this year. And then a couple of guys have been kind of moved back uh, to other day. Some of them have been moved forward. So you will see all these pitchers sometime this weekend. But what day you're going to see them on, that could possibly be a question mark. Because they have tried a couple of different things out this year. But, uh... This one looks something kind of like this. Now, in my opinion, uh, their best pitcher is Legend Smith. Yeah, that really is his name. His name is Legend. Uh, he is a 1.2 ERA, 2-0 on the season, 21 strikeouts. Now, he was a little bit hurt earlier in the season, I believe. Uh, I think he's going to be back this weekend, I think, from what I saw. Uh, don't take my word on that, but uh, I think he's supposed to be back this weekend. So, if he's back... He'll probably be the Friday starter, but uh, if he's still not quite healthy, you may not see him all weekend. I'm not really too sure, but uh, next, Saturday pitcher, it's probably one of these two guys. Uh, probably going to be Isaac Coffey, or it's going to be Andrew Roach. Now, a Coffey, uh, ERA is 4.5, which is not a good ERA. He is 2-1 on the season. 15 strikeouts. Now, a coffee is one of those pitchers who not very accurate with his pitches. I'll put it to you like that. Um, sometimes he can throw just as many balls as strikes. Um, can't, can't always find the strike zone. So, But uh, definitely his ERA is not that good either. 4.5 is not a good ERA. But uh, you probably will see him start Saturday. He could possibly start Sunday. But uh, you're going to see him sometime this weekend. Uh, other guy, I just mentioned Andrew Roach. Uh, now, I cannot find his stats on him, but I believe after doing some research, it kind of looks like his ERA is right there around three as well. He um, has 14 strikeouts on the season, so he's not too bad either. And the other uh, pitcher you may see start this weekend. Now, this guy also plays in the outfield, so you may see him play... Some outfield this weekend as well. Uh, I know he's I know he started a couple games out in right field. I believe I think he started two games so far. So uh, don't be surprised if you see this. Don't be surprised if you see this guy pitch and also play in the outfield this weekend. It's possible. But uh, his name is AJ Arch and Embo. It's A R C H, just like Arch. Embo A M B O. So Arch Embo. I guess how you pronounce it, but uh. 3.12 ERA, 2-0 on the season, 16 strikeouts. Now, Arch Ambo, pretty good pitcher. Uh, you probably will see him start or come out of the bullpen uh, pretty often this weekend. So, But, yeah, the pitcher rotation, kind of a question mark for them. But uh, it's going to look something kind of like that this weekend. So now uh, we'll start at catcher, and then we'll do the infield, and then we'll do the outfield. So starting at catcher. Uh, it's going to be probably Alec Jones, uh, which is not Alex. It's Alec, A-L-E-C, Alec Jones. Uh, not doing too good on the season. Uh, hitting 200 on the season, one home run. Uh, probably going to be their worst hitter in the whole entire lineup. Uh, that's just being honest with you. So now our first base is going to be Jake McMurray. Uh, hitting 234 on the season, and he's kind of one of the worst hitters as well. So don't really have to worry about them two guys uh, too much. But the rest of the lineup, it's it's gonna get better for them. So second baseman, 
uh, Mac Murskowski, I think it's his, his name or something kind of close to it. He's hitting 479 on the season, 10 RBIs. He's just your type of guy who just finds a way to make contact with the ball, uh, always finds a way to get on base, single, double. Uh, not the strongest guy out there, but the guy finds a way to get on base. So I have to be careful with him this weekend. Uh, shortstop, Jansen Wafton hitting 372. Three home runs on the season. Now, this is definitely one of their best um, hitters on the team. There's no doubt about that. So, to be careful watching uh, Lofton this weekend. So, uh, third base, Holden Breeze hitting 405 on the season. One home run, 12 RBIs. This dude's pretty good as well, too. So, have to watch out for him as well. Uh, left field, it's going to be Justin Quinn hitting 400 on the season. One a home run, 12 RBIs. So once again, he's pretty good too. Uh, center field, Joshua Cotts hitting 375. One home run, nine RBIs. Now Cotts, I know there's been a couple games he didn't start. Uh, I think there was maybe two of them he didn't start. But um, he don't have as many at bat as some of the other guys do. But still doing pretty good on the season so far. So... And then right field, it's going to be Caleb Dini uh, hitting 333 on the season, two home runs, 15 RBIs. He's another guy to watch out for this weekend. So now some of y'all are probably saying, like, hey, this, you know, this team is a different conference. They haven't played nobody as good as this, nobody as good as us yet. And yes, that is true. Uh, this weekend, I can promise all these guys' batting percentage is going to be going down. Uh, of course, this is still pretty early on in the season. Everybody starts at 1,000, and then, of course, the more times you can't, you know, get a hit, your percentage keeps on going down. So, you know, it's going to be the same thing for Ole Miss players. Some of these Ole Miss players still hitting 350, 400. Uh, their percentage probably going to drop down as well throughout the season. So, that's why you see so many guys batting 300, 400 right now. So, uh, I can promise you... If you look at their stats, your stats may look pretty scary or pretty good, but I can promise after this weekend when they face Ole Miss, their stats are about to go down for sure. So, But, I mean, they just haven't played nobody yet, and it's going to be an eye-opening test for Oral Roberts this weekend for sure. So uh, now let's talk about Ole Miss. Ole Miss, number two in the country, 11-1 on the season. And the starting lineup should look something kind of like this this weekend. Now, Bianco did announce he is kind of changing the pitching rotation up a little bit this weekend. Uh, Derek Diamond, which has been the Friday night starter uh, for the past couple of weekends, has been moved to Saturday. And the Saturday starter, uh, John Gaddis, has been moved up to Friday. So, And then also for Sunday, it has been Drew McDaniel uh, this season, but now it's going to be Jet Doherty this Sunday. So there is a couple of changes in the pitching rotation for Ole Miss this weekend. But uh let's talk about that. John Gaddis, uh, which has been the Saturday starter, now going to be our Friday night pitcher for this weekend. Uh ERA 0. 0.64, 1-0 on the season, 12 strikeouts. Now, now there was one game he missed a couple weeks ago. Uh the game was canceled. Um so he never got to play in that game. But if he if he did play his strikeouts would definitely be better. Could be an extra win right there as well. So, But uh, Jack Gaddis, pretty good pitcher. Has some scary stuff to watch out for. Uh, Derek Diamond, which is now the Saturday pitcher, 4.91 ERA, 2-0 on the season, 17 strikeouts. And then the Sunday pitcher is going to be Jack Doherty. Now, Doherty has been uh, the midweight pitcher for the last couple weeks. And uh, so far, has not gave up a run on the year. A 0, 0.0 ERA. Um, and he also has 12 strikeouts as well. So, Doherty has some pretty pretty uh, filthy stuff as well, too. So, so now, talking about the infield, outfield, uh, catcher. Now, the catcher is going to be Hayden Dunhurst. Now, Dunhurst just came back this past weekend. He's been a little hurt on, this, on the season. But uh, I think he's all good now. So, Dunhurst. Not the best start on the season, but uh, it was back on, I think it was back on yeah, Sunday. Yeah, Sunday had a pretty good game, so hopefully he can get things rolling now. Uh, but uh, so far, not the best start in the season for Dunhurst, hitting 214 on the season, uh, three RBIs. But uh, I did believe Dunhurst is one of those guys who's going to pick it up for sure. Okay, so first baseman, 
Tim Elko, the GOAT. Now, Elko, kind of the same situation. Uh, not quite the best start uh, that he was hoping for. But uh, I do believe Elko is definitely picking up for sure. But Elko, uh, he's a guy that has a lot of power. can easily knock out the park if you're not being careful. Uh, but Elko's had some strikeouts, ground outs. He's kind of problems like that. So uh, some of the stuff I do believe Elko will fit. and so getting better throughout the season. But uh, Elko, five home runs already on the season, 15 RBIs. Uh, he is one of those guys you have to be careful pitching to. There's no doubt about that. And every pitcher out there knows who Tim Elko is, and every pitcher is going to be careful pitching him, I can guarantee you. Okay, so next, second baseman, Peyton Chardonnay, uh, hitting 282 on the season, three home runs. He actually just had a home run the other night. And 17 RBIs. Uh, I will say, I think most Ole Miss fans may agree on this as well, but Chardonnay uh, having a pretty good start in the season. Kind of shot a couple people, I think. Um, but he's having a pretty good season so far. So, Shortstop, Jacob Gonzalez hitting 257. Two home runs, eight RBIs. Pretty good shortstop as well. Uh, now, this is where it could be interesting here at third base. Um, now, many Ole Miss fans know uh, one of her best players, Kevin Graham, needs surgery to be out for about a month. Um, so the outfield could be a question mark this weekend. But what I'm trying to say is, now, the third baseman most of the season has been Justin Bench. Um, he's been third baseman most of the season. But now our left fielder, Kevin Graham, out. And Bench has played some outfield in the past for Ole Miss, uh, even this year as well. Started a couple games out in the outfield. So with Graham out, I would not be surprised if you see Bianco put Bench out in center field. Um, but it has been Bench at third most of the season. So you could see Bench at third. Uh, you could see him in center field. But uh, Bench hitting 341 on the season, 12 RBIs. And also, uh, the, other, the other third baseman you may see this weekend is uh, Raiden Buford. Uh, another guy has started a couple games at third base this year. Another pretty good hitter, pretty good pretty good player. So, uh, you may see Buford at third. You may even see Buford start a DH one game. Uh, I think it's possible. So Now, this is where it also gets interesting in the outfield. Uh, I do believe you will see these three guys in the outfield. Uh it's going to be Kemp Alderman, TJ McCants, and Hayden Wetterwood. Once again, you could see Bench out there as well. Um, now, if I was to take a guess, I would probably say Wetherwood and Wright if he's starting. If he's not starting, probably going to be McCants out and Wright. Um, and then if, if Alderman's starting, I'd probably put Alderman probably in left field, probably. Uh, but yeah. McCants, McCants probably wouldn't play center. He could play right. Uh, Weatherwood probably would play right, but he may not start all three games this weekend. But uh, you will see all these guys sometime this weekend. Who's starting where? That's kind of a question mark. But uh, really, these guys, they can play anywhere in the outfield. There's no doubt about that. But uh, Kemp Alderman hitting 350 on the season, one home run, six RBIs. And uh, Alderman, he's a guy who has tons of power. He can easily knock it out. So uh, kind of be careful pitching him, too. So McCants, uh, McCants has been one of our best hitters this, this year. There's no doubt about that. McCants hitting 382, uh, two home runs, 10 RBIs. And then uh, Weatherwood hitting 304, two home runs, three RBIs. So now let's talk about the DH position. So once again, you may see Buford at DH. Uh, you may even see Weatherwood at DH. You may even see uh, Ben Van Quay or Calvin Harris at DH this weekend. Uh, you just don't really know. Ole Miss still trying a couple things out, seeing who can do the best. But uh, we already mentioned Weatherwood, already mentioned uh, Buford as well. But uh, Calvin Harris, which also plays catcher. Now, Harris has been the starting catcher when Don Harris was out. But uh, now, since Don Harris is back, Probably going to see Dunhurst all weekend. And then probably we'll see Calvin Harris at DH. 
But uh, Harris hitting 542 on the season, five RBIs. Harris doing pretty good on the season. And then you have uh, Ben Van Kui hitting 417, three RBIs. So I would not be surprised if you see either one of them start this weekend. Anything is possible. But uh, with Coach Bianco, you just don't know what to. You just don't know what to expect. Um, but anything's possible for sure. But but uh, this weekend should be a pretty easy weekend for Ole Miss. Uh, I will tell you one thing: uh, many fans may not be thinking about, but uh, there is some cold weather coming in this weekend. Uh, there's actually a chance of snow Friday night. That's actually why the game that moved up to one o'clock Friday afternoon. And then I think I saw Saturday, I think the high is like 34, 35, 36 or something. So it's gonna be pretty cold. So now if it's pretty cold, if the wind's not blowing, you may not see the ball travel as much. Uh, you also see some players just kind of struggle playing in the cold temperatures. Uh, I don't think it's gonna be too much of a problem for Ole Miss, but you never know. Uh, you just never know for sure, but uh, but I think Ole Miss is going to win all three games this weekend. Should be an easy sweep. Don't really see too much competition here, just from what I've seen. But uh, I think Ole Miss is about to be 14 and one after the weekend. But uh, anyway, that's all I have for the video. So thanks for watching. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one and hotty toddy.